called Christian churches in order to deny and hide the true story of physical regeneration. In the past, people have lived for thousands of years by preserving and conserving this oil and transmuting it so that it um, reaches the optic thalamus. You see, what happens when the oil reaches the optic thalamus is that new blood is generated in the body. Until such time as this process has occurred, we will have old toxic blood in our physical organisms. And in order to regenerate and produce new blood, the oil must be raised to the optic thalamus and healing can occur. And as I said before, the millions of dormant brain cells are reactivated and the heavens, the cerebrum, were awaiting the return of the prodigal son. You see, because we all have these dormant brain cells in our brains. Yes, because they have not returned any of the oil. And in the Bible, this is known as tithing. You see, this is why the Bible says you must return one-tenth to the Lord. Remember, the Lord, the L-O-R-D, refers to the gold. You see, this is how we turn lead into gold. Our spinal cord is like a thermometer. And as the mercury w rises with warmth, the more so with enlightenment and consciousness and knowledge, we are able to raise the condition of this oil. And as it climbs the spine and ascends, it raises its vibration. In fact, when it gets crucified uh, at the top of the spine where the uh, pneumogastric nerve is crossed, this does not mean death. This means crucifixion means to multiply a thousandfold. And you see, not only is physical regeneration a result of this, but also spiritual regeneration. And one is able to uh, experience the higher mind and clairvoyance. You see, medium, mediumship occurs down in the solar plexus. There are four brains in the human body. The cerebrum, what is otherwise known as the God brain. The cerebellum, which is the man brain. The medulla oblongata, which is responsible for the um, involuntary actions in the body, such as breathing and blood circulation. And the fourth brain is the solar plexus which is more related to the animal instinctive brain, which receives images from the ether, from the air, you see, just like the animals do, <clears throat> and they react correspondingly without reason and logic instinctively. So, you see, this is why it is so important to raise the oil so that one can uh, get out of the lower mind. The lower mind is the solar plexus and wrought with um, problems. You see, ascension is within. One ascends to heaven, the heaved up place, the dome of the cerebrum. You see, those two flaps, those hollowed out hemispheres of the cerebrum are otherwise known as the, the uh, cherubim. You see, in the Bible, God says to Moses, you must build the Ark of the Covenant with two cherubim above the Ark, covering over. And inside the Ark shall be placed the manna and the law of God, the two tablets. Well, <clears throat> I'm here to tell you that the optic thalamus is the Ark of the Covenant. And the uh, limbic system and the midbrain, the pons, the medulla oblongata, the pineal gland... These are the holy of holies. This is where one needs to return the good oil. The secret of secrets. This has been known to the ancients. It's in the Bible. It's in all of the legendary books. All of the characters, all of them, they are all in the body. In the middle of the head, there is something known as the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the little horse. 
This is the white horse that Jesus rides upon. There is, um, there is something known as Ammon's horn. Yeah, absolutely. Ammon's horn in the middle of the head. Ammon's horn? Goodness me. Would that be uh, in Jesus' name, Ammon, the same dude? Yeah, it would. We have the claustrum. We have the cerebrum, the covering angels, the cherubim, which cover over because the cerebrum covers over the cerebellum and the midbrain and the optic thalamus and the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, otherwise known as Joseph and Mary. You see, these two are the ones that are responsible for sending the oil down the spine, down the spinal cord. And uh, they are the ones that, are, that await the return of their son who is born in Bethlehem, the solar plexus, once a month. Once a month when the moon is in the sun sign that you were born under. This is why astrology is so crucial. You see, living riotously, overeating, consuming too much alcohol, these are poisons to the oil. These dry up the oil. And once the oil is dried up, the human organism dies. It cannot live without the oil that comes from the cerebrum. This beautiful fluid, the crystalline dew, which comes from the heaved up place, the heaven, and it comes down to the sacrum, the secretion, which is the secret, the sacred secret of the Christ within. I have graphs showing all the body parts that correspond to the Holy Land. The Holy Land is within people. The Holy Land is the body. The Jordan River is the spinal cord. You see, Jesus gets baptized at the age of 30 and crucified at the age of 33. These correspond to the bones of the vertebrae. And as we progress with that oil by degree, we get our degrees. You see, we graduate with high honors and degrees. The degrees are referring to the spinal cord. And if we stay in the sacrum, sacred though it is, we do not ever climb Jacob's ladder to the place which Jacob called Pineal. You see, in Genesis, Jacob laid his head upon a stone. That stone is the five fused bones of the sacrum where the seed is born. And if we are able to wrestle with the angel as Jacob did, and he got a name change to Israel, then we are able to see God face to face because that's what Jacob did when he climbed the ladder. And he called the place Pineal. Interesting. Pineal sounds like pineal. Well, it is because Jacob says, For I have seen God face to face and I have lived. So, folks, please um, pay heed to this beautiful science of physical regeneration and spiritual regeneration. Raise the Christ. Raise the oil, ascend within for the ones who are looking for ascension and the rapture without are deluded and uh, will be deluded. Thank you for listening.